Hello everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to a new little series, I guess. Um, I'm going to be taking on a little bit of a project. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out or how well I'm going to do it, but um, in short, in here is an Apple II. Um, I am then going to buy myself a Raspberry Pi and I'm going to house the Raspberry Pi inside the Apple II casing, get the Raspberry Pi to talk to the Apple II keyboard and get a mouse and all that sort of stuff connected and then I will get um, some sort of Apple II uh, emulator sort of setup in uh, Raspbian. Um, this Apple IIc, I don't know if it works or not, it doesn't come with a power supply. Um, if it does work then whoop de do. <laughs> but if it doesn't then it doesn't really affect me because I'll just go back to my original plan. But um, what I'm thinking of doing just to... I'm not sure if I'm going to open this, but... What I'm thinking of doing, because of course these power supplies are extremely rare to come across, especially um, especially in this country, uh, is just get a car battery. Get some cro crocodile clips because I know the pin out for the power supply. Uh, for the for the uh, power port on the back of this thing, just um, hook up crocodile clips to a car battery and uh, see if it works. Because um, this Apple IIc was released with um, the optional battery pack, because it was marketed as being a portable computer. This is like before the Macintosh portable in '89 or any of that sort of stuff. This was the most portable computer around. And uh, it even uh, shipped with the option of a flat panel display as well, which is uh, pretty cool. But this is quite obviously going to take me quite a while. Um, at least he's taped it up well. So I'm going to speed up time and. Uh, oh no, I won't because I'll get done for copyright. Um, <laughs> I'll just um, get back to you when this uh, Apple IIc is open. Be right back, guys. Okay, that was an absolute nightmare. You know when boxes and tape is so old, it sort of goes yellow and sort of just turns into glue. That's basically what happens here. So I reckon the bloke who sold me this just put it in an attic one day and never, never even thought about it. So uh, yeah, the results you can definitely vary, but I can see it. That is awesome. I have never ever come into contact with an Apple II before. Wow, it's really white, guys. I was expecting it to be really yellowed. Let's lift her out. Wow, that is awesome. Nothing else in the box. Nope. Just a little bit of free foam. And here is the Apple II. Apple IIc, I believe uh, this model was introduced, this is the 5.25 inch uh, floppy model, um, 1984, I believe uh, these were introduced, whether this was, uh, I believe they were sold from 84 to 88, that's when uh, they introduced the C+, plus, uh, 2C+, plus. so it could be <laughs> varying age, but wow. This is awesome guys, I'm a little bit blown away, I've never been so excited to do something like this on my channel um, in a long long time, so uh, I'm going to take you off the tripod and, and show you around. Here she is, really really nice keyboard, proper retro clicky sort of feeling, really really nice, and uh, I on the on the two C, uh, t not two C's, two E's, they had the reset key above the return key which is a little bit uh, silly if you're in basic and you're constantly pressing return to run stuff and type code in and uh, the reset button is right up there and there's a bit of um, bit of an odd design so they, with the 2C they decided to put up in the top left which is uh, pretty cool that's the uh, 80 or 40 column display I believe I'm not 100% sure what that is uh, you got your power and activity LEDs there and uh, I, this was the first uh, Apple computer to introduce uh, the Snow White uh, design language, um, which basically makes everything look 
smaller, the, the lines were horizontal and vertical lines were placed in a way that would make make the machine look smaller than it actually is, which is a uh, pretty fitting considering this is this is meant to be a really portable computer. It's even got a handle as you can see there. Pretty cool. Um, on this side, you've got nothing down there, and the 5.25 inch floppy drive. This two uh, C plus came with a uh, 3.5. Um, I'm not sure if this floppy drive, I'm not sure if anything works, but uh, there's a lot more stuff ri uh, written, a lot more applications for 5.25 than there is 3.5, although of course you can get uh, externals. Um, the ports then, what do we have? I'm not 100% sure, I'm really, really not up to scratch with this old retro stuff, but I believe that's like a mouse or uh, gamepad um, modem. Monitor, I believe, uh, I I that's uh, composite video. I'm really not 100% sure. All I've really taken any notice of is the pinouts on this uh, uh, power supply, because of course the size of this thing uh, forced Apple to have an external power supply, which is a little bit of a nuisance because people lose stuff, um, especially after all this time. And uh, yeah. On this side, we've just got a volume because it's did have a built-in speaker on the front and uh, headphones. But that's it. That's the Apple IIc. Um, what I'm going to do now, actually, is take this uh, top cover off um, and take the floppy drive out and see if there's any blown caps or anything. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do that, and um, I'll get back to you guys when this Apple IIc is all... Open. That was all relatively simple. It's just six screws on the on the bottom, and well, oops, it should just pop off without too much hassle. You gotta let the ports do their thing so they don't snap or break. And there we go. Off comes the top panel. And we're into the guts. This is pretty cramped and unbelievably small for uh, the, the time it came out, basically. That's the keyboard. That's going to be the magic tool when it comes to making this Raspberry Pi uh, special, I guess, and make it more authentic. But under there is pretty much everything. 1983, there we go. So this is one of the first, basically, out of the factory, which is pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure what any of this is, to be honest with you. All I know is those little chips there are RAM. <laughs> um, I, I'm really not 100% sure, guys. Unfortunately, this is all really, really new to me. And uh, it's pretty mind-blowing. So... Now we have to rip the keyboard out, and uh, we need to rip the floppy drive out, and then, then I'll show you it a little bit more. And here we are. Everything is disassembled. The floppy drive has been taken out. Uh, the keyboard, and all that sort of stuff. Everything is all out now. Um, there is the floppy drive. These things make one hell of a noise. Um, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure where to put this Raspberry Pi. Because this is a pretty compact system, and uh, I, I'm not 100% sure whether I put it in place of the floppy drive. I think that's probably the best idea, but then you've got like a well, that plastic cover would be easy enough to put back on there without the internals. But uh, there isn't much space in here without taking out one of the original components. And uh, if it works, then it obviously needs a floppy drive to load data, but honestly, I think. The Raspberry Pi and the emulator can actually get stuff from the internet, and I wouldn't have to buy blank floppies or buy original disc, uh, original floppy disks off off eBay or something. It'd be a lot easier just in the in in the the emulator environment. So I'll probably put the Raspberry Pi in place of uh, the floppy drive, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about where the ports are gonna be. Um, I don't want to cut into the plastic because uh, it gets tough and brittle over time and it'll probably just crack and snap. 
so I may have to desolder uh, some of these ports because if this isn't going to be used as a 2C it's going to be a Raspberry Pi in an emulator masked as a 2C I won't actually be needing these ports so I may take some of them out and uh, then just get the USB hub and stuff to sort of slot into slot into these places but yeah this is part one of um, the Apple Pie um, when whenever the next part will be I do not know this is not going to be like a a quick fire sort of series is going to be spread up uh, spread out over quite a while but um yeah this is my apple 2c um i'm going to get some sort of battery rig set up to see if this thing actually works because there isn't anything obvious that would point to it being uh being knackered i mean i'll have to open that up but uh yeah it's, it's looking hopeful at the moment and uh yeah I'm pretty excited for this series guys, I hope you are too, um, and I hope you enjoyed this retro unboxing, um, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Uh, one last quick little clip before I go, um, as you can see I pulled the power supply out, and it was an absolute nightmare, it took quite a while. Um, but there it is, and it's all in superb condition, so I am really confident that this machine will boot up uh, with some sort of power going into it. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed.